Hello, Jim back with another video, and if you recall, a year or two ago, we did a review of the Apricorn USB key, which we still have here, and this is the older version. <coughs> so, this is your typical USB-A. So, it's been pretty well served as well, and it works quite well still. So, just for comparison's sake, we have got our latest on offer, which is the 3 NC256 4 gigabyte. So this is <clears throat> a much welcome product. A small print from a lawyer, it's pretty nice. You've got some user information here, and you can see they've changed the tack here with the cover. So pops in like so, really nice and really well. So what's different with this one is this time around is that we have got USB-C, which is really the trend today. There isn't many laptops here in Ireland that I've seen have USB-C, but here's the thing. You can use this not only on your PC, you can use it on your mobile phone if you've got a USB-C phone, which there's plenty of, which is really handy for the likes of that kind of stuff or dash cams or other equipment um, that can take USB-C parts and transfer data. So if you've got little cameras um, GoPro kind of stuff, um, it connects to your phone. So it is pretty much the same design as before. As you can see, it's got the same setup, keypad, branding, and you've got some LED lights up on top. And that's what it looks like from behind. Again, with this model here, there is no software required. Um, you have an onboard keypad, which is really nice and tactile, and it's really nicely built, and it's really, really solid. You, do, you don't need any host computer or software. You've got forced enrollment, and um, so you have deep fault pins, um, which you can change. Um, we're gonna go through that in a minute. And um, there's a couple of ways to do it, and you can add pins on it, so it means you can have different administration access. So you've read all the options as well, and they can be set, and it's highly configurable. And you've got brute force pin attack protection, and you've also got the option to use Apricon's Aegis configurator tool. So the keypads are here, as you can see, and it's nice and tactile as well, and they work really well, and you can see they are raised, identical to the last, last model that we've had. So you've got a lock and unlock button here, so you'll have your keypad numbers here. So if you connect to a smartphone, for example, which we'll show you now, it's locked, as you can see. So what we're going to do is unlock it. You can see now that the device is unlocked. We're going to connect it to my smartphone. And it should pop up on the phone there now, and there you go there. So the file, the USB now is ready for exploring or ejecting and transfer media. So I don't actually have a laptop here with USB-C at the moment, but um, I'm just using the phone as a demonstration purpose. But it does go to show you that it's not only designed for laptops, you can use it for mobile phones. And ideally, um, it is a great product to use with mobile phones today because most phones are USB-C. We're getting bigger um, formats of video with 4K now and up to 8K in some smartphones, which take a lot of storage and data up and photo quality as well. So you can just whip them off onto the likes of one of these and then you can transfer them further on down the road onto another storage device if you want, or just keep them separately on this till you do what you need to do with them. And as you can see here on the bottom, the device is unlocked and it has connected to my smartphone with no problems at all. I do have a USB-C adapter for my laptop, which works fine. But not everyone's going to have them. That's just something I had to buy here for purposely for demonstrating products be due to no USB C part on my current laptop, which I'm going to address by buying a new laptop soon. But just again, just to show you the versatility of the product, it's really, really nice and it's really simple to use. And once you plug it out, bang, it's locked. It's safe and no one can touch it unless you have the pin. So that's basically how it works and how it's going to be. It's pretty simple to use and there's no problems at all with it. 
So setting up is pretty simple. You'll need to wake up the key, the key itself, and you'll just press that, and you can go through the instructions. If you then enter, ask to enter in a key, and what I like about this is it doesn't allow you to have consecutive numbers, i.e. one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, 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 or the likes of the city passwords people put in, and that's what I really, really like about this product. And um, some other devices that are similar to this that would allow you to put any key in. And a lot of people do put in sequential numbers, so this doesn't allow you, which is a little bit more of a layer of protection in my eyes because people tend to put in similar codes, like one, two, three, four, five, six, or something like that. This doesn't allow you to do that, which is pretty nice. So that's pretty much it for the Aegis Secure Key 3 NXC. Any further questions, please hit us up below. And don't forget to check out the link where you can pick it up. And not only that, it's just built for um, computers, it's also great for having for smartphones and other peripherals that can take USB-C and transfer data to and from. As you can see, it works perfectly fine on my mobile phone. It works as well on my laptop, even though I'm gonna have to use an adapter. And transfer speeds is pretty good. No issues to report there either, and works pretty well. See you next one. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Aegis for sending this over, and stay tuned for more reviews.